YouTube, this is Tara, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, today is Tuesday, February the 13th, and I'm back at work. Uh-huh, because yesterday was my happy birthday! And I am 53 years old on as of yesterday. Uh-huh, I just told my age. Oh my God, I just told my age. Ah! It doesn't matter because I am 53 years young, and I might be 52. So my brain telling it, but my face isn't. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here and I have grapes. Grapes are good for you. They are very nutritious. They are sweet tart and they make you go to the bathroom. I have no problem going to the bathroom. Y'all know I eat fruit just about every day, every single day. I eat a piece of fruit. And yes, my hands are ashy. So, if you don't know, okay, I took a pay cut and moved to another department. And, well, not a different department, but a different division within my department. So, what I do is, I basically just scan medical records. So, so I'm about to print them out. I'm now learning how to separate them according to location and date and account numbers and amount. Y'all, I'm dropping grapes everywhere. So, when I get back to my desk, I'm going to put on my um, snow fairy. So what y'all been doing? What's going on? Leave a comment down below and tell me what y'all did this weekend because it rained. It rained all weekend in Georgia. And it rained. I, did it rain Friday and Saturday? I believe so. Uh, it, it was overcast. And um, yesterday for my birthday, it rained. I had a 940 appointment and go take care of some business. Got there. They canceled all the appointments and then call and tell nobody. I called an Uber. I wasted 18 bucks. Had I got there and had I went on the bus because I had no umbrella and got soaking wet like that other girl, she had an umbrella. I can't find mine. So, I left there in an Uber and went to my doctor's appointment. So, my doctor's appointment was only, it was at 2.40. I mean, yeah, 2.40. Mind you, my first other appointment to take care of some business was at 9.40. So, now it's about 10 o'clock. So, I show up at the doctor's appointment around about 10.30. And ask if I could be seen because it's my birthday and I didn't want to go home so I thought I was going to get some blood work do labs they're like no nah, this is your blood pressure appointment I'm like you sh I you know what <laughs> y'all gonna get that money by any means necessary how you going to do my blood pressure? You have me an appointment just for blood pressure. And all they did was take me back and the MA or the nurse took my blood pressure. And she said, it's good. It's better than it was last time. <laughs> you darn right. My blood pressure, it fluctuates due to stress. I don't handle stress very well. I don't handle confrontation very well either. 
So, yeah. So, what y'all do on my birthday on the 12th? And then I treated myself to lunch. My daughter, she's not feeling too well. So, I know when she got up and left the house that morning, and she didn't say anything. I said, she don't feel good. She don't realize it's her mama's birthday. I ain't say nothing either. I knew she didn't feel well. And then on top of that, she texted me later on that day and said, happy birthday. <laughs> I said thank you. <laughs> and my son called me. And he told me. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, my son called me and taught me happy birthday and that he loved me. Mm -hmm. And I said the same to him. <laughs> I said, I love you too. No, I'm not an emotional person. I, uh, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. So the only thing I've had today was a sip of water. I left my skelted salt at home. I need to call my folks because my daughter is at home today. She's not well. My granddaughter's at home today. I need to call her. No, hey, don't let that baby go in that room because she's been in that room messing with my stuff. I guess y'all say, yeah, you built your daughter house all the time I do. <laughs> I don't know when last time I seen home. Sometimes I just go check the mailbox and go hop right back on the public transit. Because <laughs> there's two buses that come down my street where I live. So anyway, I don't want to pop my head in. I posted. I tried to post what my food looked like. But while I was sitting in the restaurant, there was no napkin holders, no salt, pepper shakers, none of that on the table. I'm like, what type of establishment is there? Cause I would have I would have set my phone up against a napkin holder and then try to, um, you know, tilt it down a little bit. You know, kind of tilt it down a little bit and um, 